Hello friends, this video on polymers part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. See, let's talk about the biodegradable polymers. Most of the polymers which we have seen are resistant to environmental degradation. See, if you keep apple for 10 days outside the refrigerator, it will spoil on its own, it will degrade on its own. But if you keep a plastic, for 10 days, nothing will happen. When for one year, nothing will happen. Same thing, if you keep uh, if you see a switchboard, it doesn't degrade on its own. These are non degradable polymers. But if you talk about the apple, it degrades on its own. These are natural biopolymers. It has uh, uh, proteins and uh, cellulose, whatnot. They are also polymers. So these are biopolymers. Okay? And these are non biodegradable but these non biodegradable polymers are creating problem in our life it is also helping us because we something for example switchboard we don't want it to be biodegradable if it is biodegradable every year you have to change the switchboard doesn't make sense but plastic bag is one example which we can think of making it as biodegradable because typically by the time you manufacture a plastic and, the, and by the time and in, in one year it is actually disposed of in a time span of one year so we can create a plastic which degrades after one year that solves the purpose because a lot of plastics a lot of non-biodegradable uh, polymers chokes the environment this is an environmental hazard these polymers solid waste accumulates and creates a problem in the environment. Thus, a now biodegradable synthetic polymers has been designed and developed by the scientists. So to do this, what they did was, this is biopolymers, they understood the, the structure of biopolymers. They see these biopolymers has a functional group, right? And typically this functional group is OH. You see OH is what? Water is OH. Right? This water is life. People say water is life, and that is true. See, if we just keep water for some time, for 30, 40 days, distilled water, you will see life in that. The whole we survive because of water. The whole aquatic system survives water. Everybody needs water for survival. Right? If you keep a dry, for example, uh, you keep a dry stuff, dry rice, you can keep a dry rice for one year, two year, nothing will happen. But if you keep wet rice with water, it will spoil. So water is something which has life. Life is, I'm talking about the micro level life and this water helps in degradation also. So typically it has been seen that if it has OH group, then it becomes uh, bio-friendly, it becomes biodegradable. So the same thing, I'm not uh, going into detail, but I, what I'm trying to say is this chemist understood the bio biopolymers and they understood the functional group that is required to make a polymer biodegradable okay and uh, inserting these kind of uh, biodegradable uh, functional group that is a uh, hydrolyzable ester group in the polymer make them biodegradable and with this they created two biodegradable polymer that is PHBV poly beta hydroxy butyrite co beta hydroxy valerate this is one we have studied about this and the other is nylon 2 nylon 6 nylon 2 nylon 6 these are the two biodegradable polymers is created to save the earth we will study about these two polymers so the first is PHBV that is poly beta hydroxy butyrate co beta hydroxy valerate let me write the name of this pretty long Poly beta hydroxy beta rate O beta hydroxy valerate. So you see it has all hydroxy group. And I told OH is life, water is life. It makes it biodegradable. And this is obtained by copolymerization of 3 hydroxy butanoic acid and 3 hydroxy pentanoic acid. 
फ्री हाइड्रोक्सी बीटमाइक एसिड डेडिकेट थ्री हाइड्रोक्सी पेंटामाइक एसिड यू डू अ पॉलीमराइजेशन ऑफ दिस यू गेट टीएचबी ओके इट इज यूज्ड फॉर creating orthopedic device it is also used to release drugs in the body drugs the uh, capsule the drugs we have used right the capsules we use it has plastic this is polymer which is which is wrapping the whole drugs and this wrapper is biodegradable these kind of things are used you want to see the reaction i can show you the reaction as well c3 hydroxy butanoic acid so butanoic is meth eth pro but Right, and butanoic acid is this one, two, three. At three position, I'm hydroxy group. This is three hydroxy butanoic acid. Okay, with this, I'm adding three hydroxy pentanoic acid. With it, so we can pentanoic acid one, two, three. Three of a hydroxy group. And apart from this, you can add hydrogens. Okay, and these two react. It form PHBC. I'll write to the formula of them. CH, CH three, CH two, CO O, CH, CH five, CH two, CH O. So if you see, this is the reaction that it forms. So this H and this OH reacts. And water molecule comes out, and you see this reaction whole thing. I have given the numbering here. This is the first carbon. This is second carbon. This is the third carbon here. This is the fourth carbon here with a CO bond. And then there is a O bond here. This is the O one. This is the O. This lovely bond. And then if you see this H came out from here. This OH came out from here. This formed bond. This is the star carbon. You see the star carbon here. On this star carbon, there is a ethyl group attached. There is a ethyl group attached on the left hand side. On the right hand side, if you see, there is a CH two group attached and CO group attached. And then there's a OH goes from here, and H goes from here, and this forms a longer chain, right? Like this. And thus, it forms chain like this. Okay, this is PHBB. The next is nylon two, nylon six. In this case, what we do is we use alternating polymate polymer of glycine and amino caproic acid. So. Here we use glycine, amino, caproic acid. So glycine, if you know the formula, N is two, C is two, C O H is glycine, and amino caproic uh, acid is C H two, five C O H. You see, both has O H group now, right? And these will react. So here, what will happen is this OH will react with this hydrogen, right? It will come out, and this hydrogen will be changed to color. So now this OH will react with one of these hydrogen, right? And what will come out? So if you see the final reaction, this becomes NH, with CH two. Then CO, this OH is gone, and then from here one H is gone, so you are left with one NH. Then CH two, five of these, and then CO, and N of these form a long chain, and two N water molecule comes out. This is nine on two, nine on six. You see here why nine on two because there are two carbon here, and there are six carbon. This is nine on two, nine on six. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos, attend free online tests, get free study materials, find tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.